Hey, we're Salita. Welcome back to the channel. Look what I got right here. A bunch of in-ear monitors, five to be specific. My top five, actually, for 2023, because this is the ultimate budget in-ear monitor guide for 2023. You don't want to miss any of this. Let's dive right in. Now, what we have here are five different sets at five different price points. None of these would I warn you not to get. All of these are fantastic in-ears. It really just depends on what you need and how much money you want to spend. I will say the most expensive are $189. Now you may be thinking, Jimmy, I thought you said this is budget. $189 is not budget. But let me remind you, in and especially if you're new to the, to the world of in-ears, $189, anything under $200 is definitely budget. Now, when you look at different brands like 64 Audio or Empire Ears or All Clear, all of those have in-ear options well into the thousands, multiple thousands of dollars. So anything under $200 is definitely considered budget. Now, anytime we do in-ear monitor videos, it's kind of hard to be scientific about it because I'm really just giving you my opinion based on what I hear with my ears. Now, my human ears are going to be different than yours. They're gonna have a different fit, a different feel. Our eardrums are different. My eardrum's different from one ear to the other because I probably have ear damage from years of construction in this one ear. So nothing is necessarily scientific, but I did give a lot of attention to detail as I, I listened to the same audio clips over and over again. I even spent way too much time listening to pink noise and putting in the different headphones to really uh, write down what I thought was an adequate description of what I was hearing between the differences between these. So I can give you a real life experience review because I've also used all of these or most of these. Some of them are very brand new. Actually, I just opened one today, but I put it through the tests. Um, but I've, the rest of these I've used in a live situation while I'm leading, while I'm playing guitar, while I'm singing. And so, yes, we're gonna get right into it. Here are the categories I'm gonna go through. So we'll go through one in-ear uh, monitor at a time and we're gonna think through six different categories. First is the price, because I always wanna know the price right up front. Then we're gonna look at the case that they may come with and the quality of the cord. We're gonna talk about the fit and the feel, how they feel when they're in your ears. Do they feel cheap? Do they feel expensive, heavy, light, small, big, all of that stuff. Then we're gonna talk about the number of drivers, the, the individual speakers that are in these little things and what that does to the sound quality and the, that's like the most important thing, like what do they sound like? And I'm gonna try to give you the best description I can. And then I'm just gonna give you my opinion on who they would be for. All right, so let's hop right in with the most expensive coming in at 189. These are the brand new X Vive T9. These are brand new, like a couple of the other ones out here too, where they just now sent them to me. Now let me say right up here at the front, this video is only sponsored in that these companies did send me most of these. I think one or two of these units, just one of the units I bought myself. Uh, but the rest were sent to me and they have no say on what I say in these videos. It's just they are sponsored in that they gave them to me to review. So these are my honest opinions. I would not tell you something that I didn't, um, believe in. So having said all that, let's look at the X-Vive T9 case. This is a really good semi-hard zip case. It's pretty small, so it's not massive. It comes with a bunch of stuff. You have different adapters and headphone options in there. It's got a lot of space, and I'm not afraid to throw this in my backpack and worry about the in-ears being crushed because it's, it's pretty stout and it's pretty small. I really like that. As far as the cord and the cable, now these are the most expensive ears of the bunch, but the cable is probably the one part that is lacking the most. It's just this black rubber cable. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great, good quality, but I would expect at this price point to be more of a, a nice braided cable that we'll see on some of these other ones. But I will say, it does have the little, the little cinch thing right here. What this does is when you put on your in-ear monitors, you can cinch this up to the back of your neck and make sure you have a really tight feel, a really tight fit, I mean. I usually throw the cable down the back of my shirt, which is why I don't really like rubber because sometimes I feel like it pulls, but you stick these in and then you can cinch this right up and it, it keeps you from uh, yanking them out of your head. I don't know why they don't put that on all of these because there's several of these that, I mean, that's just a missed detail. Put these on, other brands, put these on. Missed opportunity. Now for the fit and the feel, these are some of the best feeling of the bunch to me as well. And it's probably got to do with the price point. They put a lot of effort into, you know, and we all have different ear shapes, but these fit the best. And they feel nice and big, kind of like your custom molds, although all these are universal fit. And when I say they, they feel big, they feel big in a good way. Like not, like opposed to the, there's another set here that I'm not even including in this video, but I just wanted to show you. These are the Weston, what was it, the AM10 Pro? Um, these sound the worst. <laughs> the benefit is if you have small ears, they're nice and tiny compared to the size of this thing. 
I also love the way these things look. They're nice and clear, and you know, that might not be that important to you, but there's a set coming up that is probably one of my favorite, but it doesn't look that good. So I just mentioned it. These, these look good. They're nice and clear, and they disappear, and I, I really like the way they look. Now, as far as the way they sound, these have two, two drivers. They are dual balanced armature drivers, which are really good for sound isolation. There's basically two different drivers we'll talk about today. It's the balanced armature, or if you're looking these up, it'll say BA, or there's DD, which is a dynamic driver, and they're just built differently. I don't know complete the complete differences between them. I just know the dynamic drivers don't isolate the sound as well, but you get more of a full frequency. Um, and so some of these combine the two, but these have two in each ear, two of the balanced armature drivers, they sound really good. Now, of the bunch, they do feel like they have the top end rolled off the most. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you, and don't go anywhere because my favorite set is at the very end, one of my favorites. Anyways, I have a surprise for you. Don't, make sure you watch this whole video. Um, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a graph that I made, it's non-official graph to kind of show you the comparison between these on a, a homemade frequency graph. But these have the most top end rolled off, but they have a real punchy low end. And the, the low end is not too low, it's a nice medium to low range, so it's really good for like feeling that kick, feeling the bass, and that, that answers the question, who is this for? Uh, I think these in-ears would be really good for um, bass players, drummers, but then also vocalists, because, because of that top end being rolled off the most, it creates like a nice, warm mid-range that really helps the vocals to stand out and be more pronounced. So anyways, that is the X-Vibe T9s. Let's move on. Next we have my tried and true KZ AS10s. Now these come in at $59.99, so 60 bucks. There's two different colors. I like the, uh, the teal ones here. The case and the cord. The case, you get this like, um, cardboard type case it's fine you can throw this in your backpack but it's you know compared to the x vibe having a nice zip case they have room for improvement here but um it's solid i've used this and thrown it in my backpack and over time it tends to wear because it's just cardboard paper type stuff so you might want to invest in a different case but the cord is like i would expect on the more expensive one where it's nice and braided and not only that, it feels really nice and it's not rubber so that when I shove it down my shirt, it slides really well. Now, drivers in the sound. These have five drivers in each ear. That's why they're called AS10s because combined you get 10 drivers. But they have a punchy low end as well, but it's not as punchy as the T9s, which I would expect because these are a lot cheaper. So who are these for? I think vocals would love these. Also acoustic players, keyboard players, those who really want to hear that top end without sacrificing the low end. At this price point, that's what they offer and they're really good. All right, number three. Now, every time I come to a new set, I'm gonna act like they're my favorite, and that's why I'm sharing these with you. These are like my top favorite. I love all of these. Um, these are the Bazin B-Master. They come in at 109, so another of the high, this is the second highest priced in-ear. It comes with a pretty nice uh, case. It's, it's semi-hard again and has a zip but it's not as good quality as the X5. And so with it being flat like that, see the X5 has like this dome to it, so you really feel like you can't squish it. But this, even though it's kind of hard, I feel like I feel like the ears might get squished in here, so I don't even really use this case. Now the fit and the feel of these is right up there with the T9s. They are some of the most comfortable I have felt. They have some weight to them, but they also have this like spinning thing. See how they spin 180 degrees? Like you can just keep spinning it without them uh, tangling up. I don't know if this will be a pro and a con for you, but I'm gonna say it's a con for me, and here's why. Because they spin, I'm always trying to like catch them so I can put them in my ears. And a lot of times, even as I've been testing these, you know, I'm trying to listen to a sound clip and I wanna switch it out really quick. And with these, I get pretty frustrated because I can't do it really quickly. And sometimes I put the, the ears in the wrong ear. But once they're in, they're great. And the cable is fantastic. It's this nice, thick, braided material here and it fits really nicely. And the other big thing that is a big deal that they did include was the little cinching thing. And it's a nice metal one that slides really nicely uh, to help make sure that your in-ears don't get yanked out of your ears. But having said that, these are some of my favorite, probably because of the sound quality alone. They, they feel really nice, but the sound quality. Now, they have four drivers in, in, in each ear, and this is one of the ones that 
combines both types of drivers. So each have one dynamic driver, which covers a huge frequency, gives you really, really clear bass response. And then it has three of the balance armature drivers in there. It has a nice punchy low end like the T9s, but I'll show you on the graph later that the low end is, is a little bit lower. So where the T9 is a, a low mid punch, these are a little bit lower on the frequency punch. So real clear like kick and low bass notes. So who are these for? They'd be for bass players, drummers, but they also have a really good high end. So the T9s have that, that high end rolled off, which makes for a nice, rich, warm vocal. Um, these have a real clear high end. So like keyboard players that need to hear a full spectrum, like um, down low on the low bass notes, but really high, clear, like shimmer sounds. Electric guitar players who wanna hear that crisp, shimmery sound, these would be perfect for you. The only other con I'm gonna say is that the design, the look. I mentioned the look of the T9s, how they're clear. These here, have like this silver bling to them. You have two options. You either have this silver bling or like a gold bling look. And I'm telling you, that's, that's not my look. It's not my favorite, but the sound really makes up for it. And I don't even care when people say, oh, well, you, you bedazzled your ears. Yeah, I did, but you know what? I'm hearing like really, really good quality, so I don't care. So that's the Bays and Beamasters. All right, you've made it this far. We only got two more left. That's good, don't go anywhere because these next two are some of my favorite. I've already said that before. These are the brand new KZ ZARs. This is brand spanking new, meaning I just got these in the mail last night and I just opened the box today. So I haven't even had a chance to use these live. These look great and they come in at $99. Now you may be thinking, Jimmy, why are all these on the upper end? Well, just hold on. This last one, it's gonna, it's gonna surprise you. Case. Still, same thing, it's this wooden, it's not wooden, cardboard box, get a new case. It'll work for a little bit until you get one, but get a new case. As far as the cable, this is the most superior cable that we've had so far. Nice braided up here at the top where you have your double cables. As you work your way down, when you hit this little joint right here, the cable switches to this thinner cable that's braided and it's just so nice. So let me compare with you. On top, we have the Beamaster, which kept the same cable braided, so it's a little thicker. And on the bottom here, we have these KZZAR, and it's just, it's so nice because it's its so smooth. Like I said, I put it down my shirt. It's, it's just, it's the best quality cable yet. The only downside is it doesn't have the little cinch thing. Come on, KZ, give us the cinch thing, a hundred, a hundred dollars? We should be getting the cinch thing. I know there's a little trick uh, where people like cut the end of a straw off and try to use it, but at a hundred dollars, we shouldn't be having a, to use a straw. Give us the cinch thing, KZ. As far as the fit and feel, they feel really nice. Not as like big, I say big, I don't know. Not as beefy as like the T9s or even the Basin, but just really close and they fit my ears really nicely. Now, as far as sound, they sound the best, maybe, depending on what you need. I, I really like these and it's probably, it's probably because of what's in them. These have eight drivers inside, one of the dynamic drivers and then seven in each ear, seven other of the balanced armature drivers. So it really gives you clarity all across the spectrum. So it has that deep low end. It has a punch, but it's a little deeper like the Basins as it compared to the T9s. And then that crispy high end is there. You hear every every little detail. When I was going back and forth between the Basins and these, I could hardly tell. I would give the Basin probably just a little bit more on that top end, a little bit more clarity, but these are just you know down the frequency spectrum, a little warmer. So that's not necessarily a negative thing. Uh, they sound really good. Did I already say that? Who are these for? Just like the Basins, really anyone, but especially bass players, keyboard players, drummers, I mean, anybody. Keyboard player where you gotta hear the top end and electric, it's, it's everyone. Okay, enough. You've heard it all. We've made it to the last one, the very last set of in-ears. I know you've been excited to wait and hear what they are. They are the brand new, brand new KZ, another KZ DQS. <laughs> I normally start with the price, but I'm gonna wait until the end because that's how I tested them. I didn't know the price when I first got these and that, that's, sometimes we start with the price and if it's low or too high, we kind of like, we put them in a certain category. I don't want you to know the price of these yet. So let's talk about the other stuff. The case, it's the worst case. So that might give you a clue on how expensive these things are. It's the worst case. It's the little, get another case. As far as the cable, not bad. It's not great, um, but it's, 
also not rubber. It's plastic coated double cable all the way down so it's still nice and slick. It's not braided or anything but the, the, the cable is good. The fit and feel are more like the AS10 so not as big and bulky. They still have a nice seal but it's not as nice as the T9s and the Beamasters. But like I said, for my ears, they sound really good. I've been actually using these the, this whole past month. They've been my go-to. I, My other ones I just put in my bag and I'm like, well, those will be the backup because these are so good. As far as the driver, there's only one driver, but I want you to read on the website. They, I don't want to do it injustice, but there's some new technology where they like split the distance between the magnetic field and the little thing that vibrates and I don't even know what I'm talking about. Go read it and I was like man these things sound amazing and like I said I test them with my AS 10s the AS 10s are 60 bucks so I figured these were probably around 80 no 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 I was wrong these are 17.99 17.99 what's more if you buy them on AliExpress which is what I did because they weren't even on Amazon yet when I bought them uh, $13 13 dollars can you believe that 13 dollars i would call these the as10 killers and the as10s have been my favorite for years and they're only 13 dollars so who are these for everyone everyone should have a pair of these even if no matter what you play they should at least be your backups everyone should have them the sound characteristics uh, they are like a bass boost so if you want a more um flat response you might not like these as much because the bass really pops through, but it, it does it without sacrificing the high end. It still has that nice crispy high end. Listening to the pink noise, it has a nice rumble, just like the B Masters and the KZ ZARs. Those are all nice beefy low end. I think the KZ uh, were even more beefier. And these are right down with that. They have a nice beefy low end, a nice crispy high end, but you can still hear your vocals. So they're really good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just show you this graph that I made to kind of just recap what I've said about the frequencies and kind of, it's a non-official graph that I at least want you to see so you can kind of see what I'm saying. All right, so here is my very unofficial graph right here. I don't even have like numbers for you, but this is just what I picture the high end and the low end doing. So here's the order of which I presented them in this video. The X Vibe uh, has a very punchy low end, like I said, but it's, it's, it's a punchy mids, mid to low. Swoops down and then has a nice high end, a warm high end where the vocals are, and this is where I picture vocals being, and then it kind of drops off. Um, so the, the sizzly highs just aren't there with that. The KZAS10s have a nice low end, not as pronounced as like the, the DQS, um, but it has a nice low end, kind of a flat response, and same with the top end. It's, it's nice and high up there, but it's not extreme, and then it dips off. The B Masters aren't too heavy on the bottom end, um, they come up maybe a little higher than what I have it here. I'm just messing with these little arrows. Um, pretty even all the way through, and then a nice, nice high end up at the top. Probably the highest of all. That's why I put them up here. The ZAR, the one I just got, has the, it's very similar to the B Masters, um, but the bass is further down. So it's a little bit even lower, I would say, than the B Masters. Um, comes through just about the same, and then pretty much ends up at the same spot. But I was saying that its peak was a little less medium to high than the B Masters. And then this last pair, this $13 pair, beefiest bottom probably, you may not like that, but it sounds really good pretty even throughout and has a nice top end right there. I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope it helped you. Click the links in the description if you're gonna get some of these. If you're already in the market, don't buy stuff you don't need, but if you already need it, help support this channel by using those links and I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if there's a set that you really like that I didn't mention. Um, and then of these five, which would be your favorite or your go-to, especially if you already have some of these, let me know your experience. It'll help everybody who's reading the comments kind of make a better decision as they're trying to purchase. I really appreciate you watching these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.